So, I'm going to show you a uh, little pro trip here. So I have uh, I have these uh, here. These are all various shapes of guards I've made in the past, and I save these. These are my templates for laying out the guard, and I can adjust these or use them for different knives or reuse them exactly the same. But this allows me to get the two sides of the guard symmetrical. So for this knife, I could go with something like that, which is a, this will make a, um, a lobed pummel, or I mean a lobed guard, or I could modify this slightly and make it into a fishtail. Um, I could go with something slightly larger, except I don't really have the brass. Oops. That would make a uh, larger lobed guard, probably for a bigger knife. This one. So I think I am going to go for a lobed one in this case. But the first thing I want to do is coat this. Um, generally, I'd coat this with layout blue with it off the knife. But for the sake of not having to set this up three times, I'll do it with the knife in place. And this stuff is available anywhere machinist supplies are, are set up. And all it does is help you see the uh, layout lines a little bit more boldly. It doesn't scratch off as easily as, say, a Sharpie does. And it shows the line really bright. It's available in blue and black. I prefer blue. This is Dyke. I guess it's actually pronounced Dykem, but when I was in school, everyone called it Dyke. So I could adjust this so that this fits exactly by just taking some masking tape and, and building this back up and then recutting the slot. In this case, I don't think it'll really matter because I can reference just off of this back corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, to as soon as this is dried, lay this down and then use a scriber to scri scribe around it and then lay it off on the other side and scribe around it. Now, since I'm referencing off of the Ricasso and I know that my Ricasso is at least relatively square and parallel and I'm always referencing off that back corner the two shot sides should be parallel and centered in theory um, if they're not that means that my Ricasso has some issues um, in this case since it's a forged Ricasso it is possible that it'll be slightly off it'll usually get you close enough though. Oh, where did I put my scriber See it? Again, never clean your bench. You can't find anything. There it is. Okay. So, laying this in, keeping it firm against the lock. couple times just to make sure the line is going to be visible and it won't just disappear. There we go. That's one. Now I'll flip over and do the other side. Okay. So I can see this is a little bit wider my the knife that I made this for probably had a narrower Ricasso so that means that I want to bring these lines in a little farther this way to make that symmetrical and smaller and I could adjust that on here but in this case I think I'll just eyeball it I'll just bring that in because I can see symmetry I have lines that are symmetrical to go by so it makes it much easier to judge the center and the symmetry. If I didn't have those lines, even though I'm laying this out by eye, I wouldn't be able to judge it that symmetrical. And for some reason, the back looks pretty good, so we'll go with it. I can also modify this. Instead of doing um, balls on the end or, or beans, I can make this into a shell guard by just changing that layout a little bit. But again, since I have that layout, it's easy to lay it out against symmetrical. 
So, there you go. How to lay a guard out symmetrically. If I decided that this wasn't a good layout, um, if I wanted to do something else, I could use a different template. So, you know, this is my lobed in template, but I have templates for more, you know, average hunter shapes or kind of ovals, you know, full oval like that. And, you know, Different knives require different shaped templates uh, to look good. Let me show you how to make a template. So let's do a uh, let's do an oval. I like using. So I'll show you how I'm going to do, how I would do a template. Um, this is just thin G10 like you use for liners. I like this a lot because it's pretty easy to shape, but it's stiff enough, um, stiff enough and, and solid enough that you don't wear it like you would cardboard. So the first thing I'll do is just kind of sketch on here, basic size of what I'm thinking. Or a guard. I'm going to do an oval guard. For this. That seems about right. Where scissors go? So now I have a kind of a sketch of what I want. Can use scissors to cut out the shape. I always leave a kind of nasty pair of scissors on my bench for this reason. So that looks about right. So now I'm going to mark where I want this to sit on here. And then put two little scribe marks so I can reference off the tank. And I will again use the scissors to just doesn't have to be perfect right now I just want to get this fit in here so now I'll use file yeah that looks good Sometimes I'll mount this first and then trim everything else out. It doesn't really matter. There we go. So you can see this goes on. Kind of references flat on both sides doesn't shift All right so now that's pretty good so now I can adjust the shape if needed in this case I don't want pointing so I'm gonna take a little off of that and just a little more off of here and 
French curves, which are uh, artist layouts, are really useful for laying these out. Um, I have one at home. I don't have one here. I brought it home to do some drawings with. Should get a spare. why I like the G10 is I can file it very quickly to shape and control manner. Now I will just lay this out over the top of the other one so that you can see how it looks. And I may decide I need to come back and adjust this again, do a smaller one or what have you. feel like it's a little wide so I'm actually going to take some material off of my slot and this drops back together a little tighter See, I've lost an eighth of an inch almost to the side. Yeah, that's a nicer line now. Flip it over. Now I have this inside line here will be my guard line. You see, nice and symmetrical. So next up, I'm going to go to the bandsaw and cut this apart. 